Now that you know where the points are, now it's time to actually start tapping. I'm going to introduce you to the most basic sequence that we use when we're tapping when we're trying to clear something. So the first thing you do is you focus on a negative emotion or a, an event that's upsetting you or a pain or anything like that. However, if you really want to clear something, the best way to, is to think really, really focus on the emotion or to think about the first time something like that happened and be extremely specific. So let's say I feel fat. Nah, eh, way too broad. <laughs> so we have to go, okay, when did I feel fat? What kind of specific emotion, specific event was there when I actually felt fat? And if you think, the best thing to do is go back as far as you possibly can to see if you can find the first time. And if you can't, that's all right. But let's just see how far back we can go. So let's say I go into my childhood and my father calls me fat all the time. Well, that's still a little too broad. So we need to get really specific. So let's say he called me uh, fat when I was in the kitchen, when I was six, and he pulled the Reese's cup out of my hand. Now that's specific. So how do we tap on that? Well, first thing we do is we really identify with that and picture that in our heads. And if you can't picture it, then try to be in that movement, just like you felt when you were in that kitchen, when you were six or whatever your event was, and your father ripped that Reese's cup out of your hand. How did that make you feel? Well, it probably made you feel like a bunch of different things. And those are called aspects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on them one at a time so that we can clear this whole event because that's where change occurs. So the first thing you do is you go, okay, what's my first emotion? Let's say it was embarrassment. So now we're gonna start tapping. Now we have a specific event, a specific emotion that we're truly focused on because the key is not the words that you use. The key is being focused on how you feel in that event at that time. So I'm six years old in my head and when he first pulled it out of my hand, I was embarrassed. So let's just say that. The first thing we do is we measure how intense that feeling is. So if zero is pff, no big deal. And 10 is I'm gonna run out of the room screaming because of this emotion. So let's say my embarrassment says I'm able to sit in this chair is a nine. Now we're gonna do a preliminary statement. And that's what we do when we work with the karate chop point before we begin. And what that is, is we have the problem, the emotion, the thing we're, we are really focusing on. And then we have what's called an accept statement and what the acceptance statement is is a positive thing that you're accepting how you feel anyway and if you want to know why we do that there's a bunch of reasons and we don't have time to go into it right now you can look it up on meridiantappingtechniques.com and you can do some research on the internet and we have a free manual on there any of those things you learn why this is this is working essentially it opens a window for your body and energy system to change so let's take um, the, the statement of I'm embarrassed because that time in the kitchen with my father, okay? It, whatever words are important to you, if, the, if it's the pulling the Reese's cup out of your hand that's important, that's what you focus on, those are the words you use. So let's just say mine are the, the time in the kitchen um, when my father embarrassed me, okay? So even though there was that time in the kitchen where my father embarrassed me, now we're gonna do the positive statement, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. And again, it can be I'm okay, I'm a good kid, I'm a good person, uh, I'm, I love myself anyway, it can be any of those things. And we usually do this three times. Even though I was in the kitchen with my dad and he embarrassed me, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Even though I was in the kitchen with my father and he pulled that Reese's cup out of my hand and I was embarrassed, I completely and deeply love myself anyway. Now we're going to really shorten it to the, just the emotion and here's where it's important for you to concentrate and focus on that emotion because that's what gets it cleared. So I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. And now you take a really deep breath. And now you figure out how high the embarrassment is now. So say I was a nine and now I'm like a three. Now if you're a zero, what could have happened is not only could have gone down and that happens a lot, but now you go, darn it, you know what? I'm not embarrassed anymore. I'm mad and my mad is a 10. Now you see there are two different emotions there. So let's go back and look first at my embarrassment. What level is my embarrassment? Well, that's a three. Well, here's the second part that you do. Now you're gonna do another round and you're gonna say either I still have some of this embarrassment or you're gonna say this remaining embarrassment or the rest of this embarrassment. So we do the same thing. Even though I was in the kitchen with my father and he pulled the Reese's cup out of my hand, I still have some embarrassment left. 
even though I was in the kitchen and he pulled that right out of my hand, I still have some embarrassment left. And you can do that three times or two times. It's not really important how many. This remaining embarrassment, I still have some embarrassment left. I still have some embarrassment left. This remaining embarrassment. And you can say the same thing over and over again, this remaining embarrassment. This remaining embarrassment. As long as you're focused in your whole being on that embarrassment, that's what's important. This remaining embarrassment. I still have some embarrassment left. Now what you do is you're trying to get it to a zero. At this time, if it's a zero, what we do is we move on to the next, next aspect. However, if you can't get it to go down, there's a lot of things you can do, but sometimes if it's like maybe your anger is so mad, is so high now that you can't even concentrate on the embarrassment, then what you do is just write down embarrassment and write down that you have a three left so that you can come back to it later. Because it's possible while you're working on the other emotions that you're feeling that that embarrassment can come down. But it's always really good to test to make sure. So you want to write it down. So your embarrassment was a nine and now it's a three. So you just write that down. Okay, embarrassment of three. Now I'm going to work on my anger. So my anger is a 10 now, and we call those different aspects of the same event. So I was embarrassed, now I'm angry. So we're gonna work on the anger part. And here I'm gonna show you how you can mix up the words if you want. It's not that important. The words are not that important. What's important is that you're focusing on the emotion and the event and exactly what you're tapping on. So you can mix up the words or you can say the exact same words each time, this anger, this anger, this anger. So here we go. Even though I was in the kitchen with my father and he pulled that Reese's cup out of my hand and called me fat and that made me angry, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though all that happened and that made me so angry at that time, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though that was made me so mad and I was just so little, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. This anger, I was so angry. I was really angry. This anger. This anger. I didn't even know who I was mad at. Now again, you see I changed the words? You don't have to. You can just keep saying this anger because that's what I'm thinking in my head and that's what I'm feeling. And even though it's not the, the words that may not be coming out of my mouth, the important part again, I know I sound like a broken record, is to focus. Focus, focus, focus on that emotion. I was so angry. He shouldn't have done that to a little kid. I was so angry. <sighs> so now we retest. The anger now is, now sometimes it's hard to feel. So just give yourself a minute and go, well, I guess I'm not that mad at him. I'm, I was mad at him and now I'm mad for the little girl. Well, see, those are two kinds of mads. So now I gotta think, okay, I was more mad at him, that's a 10, was a 10. So now the mad at him, he's just, no, I'm just feeling more sorry for the little girl. Okay, so where's the anger at your father? That's a, um, well, I'm still pretty mad at him. That's kind of like a four. So I'm gonna write that down because I'm more sorry. Now I have a choice, I can either keep tapping on that four or I can go to this next thing over here. And I think I'm feeling more sorry. So let me go sorry and then I'll come back to the anger. Do this even though I'm feeling sorry and I'm gonna skip this so you, so you understand. And we're going through, we do the sorry, 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 sorry. And you go through these rounds and whew, you measured it and now it's down to a three and you go, I still have remaining. So I'm still, I still feel sorry for this little girl. I saw, feel sorry for this little girl. I deeply love and appreciate myself. I feel sorry for this little girl. And you, you, know, you do this seven times and you keep tapping. And then you get, okay, so I don't feel sorry for any, her anymore. I'm now bad, mad, back at me, mad at my dad. So I'm going back to the four. Is it still a four? Well, no, actually it's gone to a three. So now I'm gonna tap on the three, okay? And we do the round, we test you know, zero to 10, breathe after each one, see where the, we are with the emotion and move on to the next one. What you will find, which is just amazing about tapping, is you'll go through all these emotions and soon, or maybe not so soon, sometimes it takes a little while, you'll get to a point where you'll go, you know what, it was just him being a st stupid idiot father. He didn't want me to feel fat because he was fat when he was a kid and he hated the way he felt and he just didn't know how to be a good father and thought that if he yelled at me it would you know it wouldn't make me not fat. 